Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington Tea Touch practitioner for animals and people. This is Tristan, he's a corgi, and we are at the beach in lovely Provincetown, Massachusetts at the tip of Cape Cod. And today we wanna to talk about something a lot of us don't remember when we're at the beach with our dogs, and that is the importance of washing your dog off after he's been playing on the beach. Last night, Tristan just went wading up to his knees. I had to call him back in. He was so excited to be here, as you can imagine, because dogs run free on this beach, and it's um, at low tide. It's really fun for short dogs to find water that's the perfect height for them and run around. So today, we went walking in the morning with our docks and friends, and we met some chihuahuas and a little mini schnauzer and another mixed black small dog and some big tan large dogs. and. It was really fun and Tristan went swimming quite a bit and um, I had to bring him up and then most of the places along the beach here that take dogs have hoses with shower nozzles on the end so that you can wash your dog because even the people that run these places understand the importance of that. It keeps sand out of the rooms but more importantly it keeps your dog healthy. Um, last year when we were here for a week and Tristan was going swimming twice a day like up to his ears really playing frisbee with some other dogs swimming swimming swimming. I washed him with water but without soap and he got a kind of a yeast thing going on his skin. It wasn't itchy but it was stinky and I kept washing him. It was under his armpits, um, a place that a lot of us forget when we're washing our dogs. So make sure when you bring your dog to the beach, especially in this hot humid weather, as much as it's wonderful for them to play in the water, give them a really thorough rinsing when you come in, not just to get the sand off but there's all kinds of little things living in seawater that we don't want growing on our dogs, especially at this time of year. So make sure your dog gets a good bath. And when he has been swimming, like with his whole body, make sure you use soap with the water. And of course I recommend any kind of organic human shampoo for that. And my sister has drjudymorgan.com, some really lovely um, herbal shampoos on her website from the Kin and Kind Company. Um, Tristan used uh, is it Earth Organics Lavender for a while um, and some other lavender ones. I don't know what we have with us this week. It might be our really good citrus one from Kin and Kind. But make sure if you're at the beach like I am for a week that you give your dog a wash with soap. Um, probably he'll get one three times this week and certainly the day before we leave he'll get a thorough cleanup. He's wet on the bottom now from his last bath. You can see he's limp. This is a limp corgi, and I have a picture. We met another corgi on the beach. She was so sweet with a really professional trim job on her bottom half, and gosh, her fuzz buns were trimmed, but they were still fluffy and cute pants. So thanks for joining us today for this episode of Conversations with a Corgi. Um, we have to hurry off because we're having uh, breakfast with some friends, and in my land it's almost lunchtime. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to head to the beach. I don't know if Tristan's coming to the beach. It's really quite warm. Um, we'll see where we end up going and whether there's um, a good way to take care of him there besides an umbrella and a lot of water. He may want to stay in the room with the air conditioner. What do you think, you limp corgi? So thanks for joining us today. We will be back tomorrow with another episode of Conversations with a Corgi live from the beach. And make sure you spray your dog off when he's been swimming, even in lake water, stream water, and certainly the ocean. And use soap if he's really um, been swimming and he's really wet because you've got to get some of that bacteria off of your dog, especially in this humid, hot weather we have this summer. Okay, everybody have fun with your dogs. Take them swimming. They love it. And we will be back tomorrow. Everybody have a great day. I can't read what you have written because I don't have my glasses on, but <laughs> I will answer it later. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.